when you know when you are you know if we were traveling would you be traveling across the country and talking about Tennessee and employ you know uh, to different employers is that how that would yeah. work okay yeah. perfect yep I think we're getting set up here this is meeting is now streaming live on Facebook and yes that's what we can see. okay and then I'm gonna record record as well. I always forget to record. So I want to make sure <laughs> that I am doing this. See, and that's weird because, okay, so we are live. I want to make sure I can see this video happen so I can see if there's any, you know, um, comments or questions. Sure. Oh, there we go. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. Like I said, uh, I'm just gonna wait and you tell me go. And uh, so yeah. Okay. I think I can see it. Yes, I think we are good. Perfect. And yeah, we will go ahead and get started. So thank you, Christy, for being here with us today. Um, to people that are tuning in, my name is Leslie Walton, and I am uh, work on the employer development team in the Center for Career Development. I'm just gonna wait until we go. Sorry about that. I can see it. I'm getting a lag here on my. Oh, I'm gonna just. Turn that off. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> so we have Christy from ENJ Gallo here today to just talk a little bit about the company and um, answer any questions. Um, I've got questions, but hopefully people will also be tuning in as well. So Christy, if you just want to start by introducing yourself and talk to us a little bit about just broadly what ENJ Gallo is. Perfect. Um, just to introduce myself a little bit, uh, my name is Christy Bowen. I'm a very proud UT volunteer alumni. Uh, so go balls. Always proud to come back and, uh, and talk, to, talk to Tennessee students. Um, currently, I'm the private brands manager for the eastern area of our company. Um, so what I do is I do with private brands. So and, and, you know, a lot of accounts that you may go into, like in your area, maybe a Publix or Walmart, um, maybe an Aldi, um, if you've got those around there. Uh, you, there are certain brands that are called national brands, which you see promoted, you see uh, advertising for. And then there's those other brands called private brands that are more strategic for, for each retailer. Uh, so that's what I deal with kind of like, off to the side. So we're a small but mighty team. Uh, but I just took, took over this position in April. Uh, prior to, I was in the recruiting role uh, calling on uh, UTK, UTK campus. So i um, been with Gallo for 24 years. I uh, started out in our sales leadership development program. And I have done so many things uh, since then. I came up to the program and I can get into that a little bit later as well. Uh, but very proud to be talking to UTK students and uh, tell them about what we do. Uh, so Leslie, you ask about what what is ENJ Gallo? So ENJ yes. Gallo Winery is the largest largest family owned winery in the world. Uh, we produce over a hundred brands of both wine and also spirits. Some of the brands that you may be familiar with on on campus may be Apothic, um, Barefoot, Andre Sparkling. We've also got a great new brand called High Noon, which we've done some uh, some fun things in some of the marketing classes on campus. Um, and then we also have New Amsterdam Vodka. So those are some of the brands that may be, uh, that may be familiar to you. Uh, but we, like I said, we have over 100, over 100 brands of wines and spirits. So uh, definitely lots of opportunity uh, with all the, all, the, all the products that we have to promote. And ENJ Gallo is nationwide, correct? So when you recruit, are you recruiting for specific locations? Or, or what does that look like for an entry level role? So sure. So we are actually, you know, we're a worldwide company. Our headquarters are located in Modesto, California. Mm -hmm. But for the sales leadership development program that we are hiring for on campus, that's going to be more located in the major cities in the southeastern area. So um, yeah. think the Carolinas, Charlotte and Raleigh. Um, think uh, down in Florida, you've got Orlando, Tampa, South Florida. Excuse me, I'm going to pop this over here. Um, and then you've got Nashville, you've got Atlanta, up in, and then up in the, uh, up in the uh, Baltimore, uh, Washington, D.C. area, and then some parts of Northern Virginia. So think about the major cities around the southeastern area, and those, those are our placement for um, our entry-level sales leadership development program. 
Perfect. And since you just mentioned the sales leadership development program, I'll just segue into that. Can you talk a little bit about that program? Um, first, just what the program is like, and then we'll talk a little bit more. I'll have some more questions about it. But Perfect. Just yeah. yeah, you know, this program, is, uh, it's been called a few different things. Uh, when I was coming through and when I after I graduated from UT in Knoxville, um, it was the management development program. But since then, it's evolved a little bit. And it's now it's currently called the sales leadership development program. Um, and what it is, it's a, it's a three phase program. Uh, we have a very strong belief that if you learn from, you learn the basic knowledge that's going to build on itself as you move through your career with Gallo. Uh, so the first phase is a distributor sales representative. Uh, this is where we will teach you about selling. We will teach you about our industry. We'll teach you how to merchandise product. Uh, you will be have an established territory and, you, and you'll be selling. You'll be selling to, uh, think about it you know, as a retailer, anywhere you can buy wine off the shelves. So in Knoxville, that can be the Walmart, it can be Publix, it could, it could be um. It could be, uh, uh, it could be toddies. It could be university liquors. You know, wherever it may be that you're buying the product off the shelf, that's considered retail, and you would have an established territory, and you'd be building our business inside the inside those stores. From there, we move you to phase two, and this is a district manager position. And again, this is inside of one of our distributor networks. And for most people, this is the first time they've actually managed people. So you'll have, a, you'll have a team of four to six sales reps, and your job is to get results through others. So with that, you're going to be on, you know, motivating and training your sales reps that are reporting to you to, to, get, to get the overall team results uh, accomplished. And then from there, we move you to phase three. So phase three is actually where you come and work for the winery directly. And this is typically in what we call a market development manager position. And what that person does is they are basically liaison between the winery out in Modesto, California, and the, uh, and the, and the distributor market they're calling on. So you are the go-to person for everything Gallo, um, pricing, promotion. Um, you're also talking about personnel, um, marketing promotion. So a lot of different things that you are touching. Uh, you are, uh, you know, you're, you're being the, the, uh, the mailman or mailwoman for, for Gallo products. And you're building on your experiences. So now you're actually calling on a distributor in that position and you're taking that phase one and phase two knowledge of where you were inside the distributor and helping that person run, run our business inside that distributor. Great. And um, for that position, I know that's the majority of what E and J Gallo recruits for at the entry level. Right. What types of experiences or types of students or new grads are you looking for for that position? Absolutely. So you know, we we know that we don't expect you on you know, uh, college recent college graduates to have a whole lot of sales experience or you know for our industry experience. So we're going to teach you all of that. We're going to teach you how to sell wine and spirits. We are going to teach you how to merchandise. We're going to teach you all that stuff. What we want you to bring to us are the things that we can't teach. So that's going to be drive. That's going to be leadership. That's going to be that entrepreneurial spirit. You know, I, and, and people who I've interviewed with or have interviewed with me, they hear me hear me talk about it. it's called the fire in your belly. It's, it's kind of my Southern girl way of putting it. Um, you know, we want we want you to bring those characteristics to us because that's something that you have innately. And then we'll teach you all the things that you need to be successful in our industry. Wonderful. Let's when you look at candidate resumes, since you used to be in a recruiting role, I know you're not anymore, but you probably are very familiar with, with looking at lots of resumes. Um, what are things that stand out when you're looking at those for, for the position at E&J Gallo? Um, you know, you know, I, you know, it is called the Sales Leadership Development Program, right? Mm -hmm. So, two things that you know that we're gonna you know quickly scan your resume for, and then do a deeper dive in the interview. Um, leadership is a really big part of that, and that leadership can can come from different opportunities that you've had on campus. We want to see that you've done more than just go to class. We want to see that you've had leadership in a work experience. Um, it could be a, it could be an on campus job. It could be something that, that you're doing in your spare time. Whatever you're doing in that work experience, we want to see how you have the leadership skills built in there. It could be an organization. Um, there are lots of organizations on campus, and we want to see that you've done more than just be a member. That you've held a position of leader where you're leading others. Uh, so we want to see that. If you're involved in athletics, you know, seeing that leadership come out through there too. So those are some big things that we look for. 
Um, we, we, we look for a 3.5 GPA um, so that you've applied yourself on campus. And then, you know, if you've got some other, other information that you want to tell us about what you've done in addition to your campus activities, we want to hear about that. We want to see that fully well-rounded student uh, uh, coming to interview with us. Sure. And is there an internship opportunity with EJ Gallo or is it just the entry level role that you recruit for? Uh, so we're actually interviewing for both on campus. Um, for graduating for graduating seniors, it would be the full-time opportunity. For juniors going into their senior year, there's opportunity for an internship opportunity. Um, this is a, this I call this like a little sneak peek because our internship program is going to give you a great opportunity to kind of see see what your career with Gallo can look like at that thirty thousand foot level. So in the internship program, you are going to go through what it's like to be a sales rep. So that's phase one. You're gonna go through what it's like to be a district manager, which is phase two by working with the people who are doing that currently. Um, and then also you'll go, you'll work with people in the management development role, that phase three. But then the beautiful thing is after those first three phases, you're gonna rotate around all the different other opportunities that you could have within the Gallo Winery to really understand what a full career with Gallo could look like. Like in my 24 years, you may, you may be working with me. You may be working with someone who had a, a, a position in my past experiences. But by the time you're done with that full internship, you're going to be able to really understand what, what the sales leadership development program and beyond looks like to work with us. Great. And do a lot of your interns um, come back after their senior year to come on full time? Or, or what, is that, what does the opportunity look like if they have interned with you? I mean, you know what, that's the hope for us, you know, that for us, this is kind of like an eight week, it's typically on a non COVID environment, uh, it's, it's an eight week program. So uh, we're hoping that we can get back to that this summer, but we will have to play that by year. Um, you know, what we're, the hope is that you're interviewing us for eight weeks where you get the opportunity to really dig in and, you know, plant your feet in every position that you're, you have the opportunity to see. But then we also want you to see our culture and, you know, just kind of just kind of drink it all in, just kind of take it all in and just and just understand what makes our culture special. And then the hope is that we you know that, that we have, have seen great things in you and that you do have a full time offer. You know, our hope for the interns that come to work for us is they get to walk back in their senior year with a full time opportunity already uh, already in hand. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so you mentioned COVID and you know, yeah. we're living in a strange time right now, um, which brings me to, to the question is just how are the changes with Ian J. Gallo during COVID? How, you know, how has it affected not only your business as a whole, but the specific um, internships and position and entry level positions? So, uh, so, uh, you know, our, for, I'll start with the internship because that was, that just ended the summer. Um, uh, you know, our internship, you know, traditionally is an eight week, eight week program where you are in the market that you're working in. You're side by side with sales reps and district managers and market development managers. And then you were in the market with all the other positions that, that, that you're shadowing. So it's a very hands-on type of internship. Uh, with COVID this past summer, being being cautious and you know and just being respectful of other people's of, of other people's needs, we actually shortened it and made it a virtual um, internship, trying to give as much of that exposure to all of our interns to understand what those positions are in in, in a virtual environment. Uh, so we hope that by the summertime, maybe we can do a, either a hybrid or go full full board with that, so that that intern gets that opportunity. Um, our full-time opportunities, we actually have you know, continued, uh, you know, all, all, all steam ahead. Uh, we had a, our first ever virtual regional recruiting conference. So our third and final round is what we call a regional rec recruiting conference. Gotcha. A one to two day um, experience where we bring all of our candidates from around the area in. Um, it's very, uh, it's very interactive. We definitely, uh, we definitely want you to see our culture live and up close. Um, you know, and then in the virtual environment, that's a little bit harder to do. So this was our first in virtual uh, regional recruiting conference. We had about 30 uh, participants, uh, you know, that, that, were, that were being interviewed, um, get, get to see different presentations, you know, trying to give as much, uh, much of that culture that we could do virtually. And, uh, and we had a great turnout. We had a great acceptance rate. And those people are coming into the market actually right now starting their new careers with us. So for us, you know, our, our um, environment has, I guess that you could say uh, it definitely has gotten busier. Um, you know, we are considered essential workers. Um, all the Gallo, uh, we, we're, we're a manufacturer, right? So we manufacture products that are in the grocery stores. And because of that, we're considered an essential worker. 
Our distributors are busier than ever. Um, our retail business, which is the, it's that business where, like I said before, you go in like a, a Walmart or Publix, you buy your product and take it home. That part of our business is doing extremely well. And as you might expect, I'm not sure exactly how what, what the rules and regulations are in Tennessee for all the restaurants and hotels and bars and things like that. That business is softened, so it's kind of done a little, you know, a little bit of a uh, leveraging. But we're hoping that it all comes back to balance, so that our on-premise partners can can regain some of what they've lost during COVID. Um, but net net, we're seeing increases across the board in you know in sales. Uh, we're seeing increases in e-commerce. So what we expected e-commerce and the alcoholic beverage industry to take maybe two, three, four, five more years to do, we kind of done that in six months. So it's been amazing to see what how COVID has accelerated some of the business uh, parts or parts of our business that we definitely uh, didn't know didn't know could accelerate that quickly. <laughs> if, if wow. <laughs> That's amazing. We know that you know that the wine and spirits industry is is virtually recession proof, right? And yes, we can see uh, that end up happening in real time. Yeah. Wow. Um, so my last couple of questions really are more about the culture of ENJ Gallo. I know you hit on it a little bit, but just tell me more about what that culture is like for maybe a new um, young professional. Sure. Um, so, you know, first and foremost, Gallo is a family owned, privately held company. Uh, so with that, you know, being, being family owned, family is very important. So yes, you know, our, our family is out in Modesto, California, but that family atmosphere comes all the way out to all of our social organizations across the country. Uh, so I, I like to say that we're huggers instead of handshakers. Maybe not in this environment, but outside the COVID environment, uh, we're, we're all we're always, uh, you know, the first question is not going to be, you know, how are your sales numbers? It's going to be, how are your kids? How's the new dog going? It's going to be about the person. So uh, very family oriented. Um, we definitely have a sense of community. And I think I've seen a lot of that come out during COVID. Uh, we've done things, you know, we've had to pivot different uh, different uh, opportunities during COVID uh, to help our community out, whether that be, you know, pivoting uh, instead of making New Amsterdam vodka, we were making sanitizer for, for, the, for our local Modesto, Modesto counties, uh, Modesto County and surrounding counties. Uh, we actually did, you know, did things to help out our local on-premise communities where, you know, when our on-premise operators were not able to work at full capacity, we had what we call it on um, roar, which is, um, which is rescuing our amazing restaurants and it allowed us to be able to spend gallo money in those restaurants and then take it out and, and do good for the community. Like for instance, I took some, I took a, you know, a, a lot of meals to the, the, our local hospital um, just so that we know those healthcare workers need every, every bit of love they can get. So, you know, having gallo support us in that way really helps, you know, uh, broaden that sense of community. Um, and, you know, and we're fun and social, you know, we, we sell fun products, we sell alcoholic beverages and, you know, people enjoy, enjoy our beverages. So we definitely have that fun and social environment, um, fast paced when you have all the brands that we have, uh, definitely things change uh, on a daily, a weekly basis. Um, but overall, you know, the, the culture of the company is definitely what's kept me there for, for the last 24 years. Yeah, and, and what is, I know you've just said a lot of really wonderful things about working at Gallo, but if you could pick one of your favorites, you know, what has made you stay for, for this long? Because you really are a testament of, you know, that environment and, and staying as long as you have. Um, you know, also the culture that, you know, the second thing would be the opportunity. Um, you know, I've been, this has been the only, you know, company that I've worked for since I graduated from UT. Mm -hmm. um, you don't hear that a lot these days. You don't hear people that have been in with the same company for 20, 25, 30 years. Uh, we hear that a lot at Gallo. I think, I think the last, the last um, statistic I heard was that the average tenure was 19 years with, with the company. Yeah. Uh, so that, that, that speaks volumes to you know, that, that you're not going to get stagnant. Um, throughout my career, I've come through the sales leadership development program, the first three phases. And from there, I've been able to have different experiences, different jobs that have taught me different things about the industry. And, you know, whether I'm raising my hand and going after a position, interviewing for it and, you know, and, and trying to get that opportunity or having someone tap me on the shoulder and say, we think you'd be really good at this. How about you give it a try? Um, you know, both of those have been a combination of, of all the all the different career paths that I've taken with Gallo. So having that continuous opportunity, I think, is something that's really important and has really kept me here here at Gallo. Sure. 
And I see that Gallo has been really active on Handshake. I see there's like coffee chats and happy hours virtually, um, which is really great. How can students continue to um, talk with your recruiters um, and engage with e j Gallo if they're interested in either an internship or a full-time role? Um, definitely Handshake. Um, in, in our virtual environment, uh, Handshake has been our major connector to, to the campus. So definitely check on Handshake for all the different opportunities that we are going to be engaging with UTK students, um, whether that be um, in, you know, in, in a career fair, whether like yesterday I did a mock career fair for Haslam, mm -hmm. you know, whether it be the coffee test, just check on our, on our, handshake, um, on our handshake page to find out all the opportunities that we have. Uh, we also are on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, you know, it's, it's a Southeastern Mega, um, Ian J. Gallo at, at, at Southeastern Mega. Uh, you can find us on Instagram. We post things there as well. I um, mean, you can definitely engage through there. So any way that, you know, you can see either see where we're coming to talk with you or you want to start a conversation with us, uh, pl please make sure that you're just, uh, just monitoring th those, th those two areas. Great. And last question, and then we will be done. Uh, why do you like to hire UT students? And maybe you're biased because you are a wonderful alum, but what do you like about coming and recruiting at UT? You know what? I, I am definitely biased. I love, you know, when I when I was given the opportunity before I actually had the, the, the full-time recruiting role to come back to Tennessee and tell people about my experiences, get to come back and walk on campus again and you know, just relive all that fun stuff. You know, that's a, that's just a really uh, positive experience to share. Say that, you know, say, look, you know, I was in your shoes. I'm not going to say how many years ago, but I, I've been in your shoes as a student at, at Tennessee. And, you know, this is the opportunities that are out there for you. And I'm going to tell you my experience. Um, you know, we, we have we have quite a few University of Tennessee alumni working for Gallo. And the more of us that we, that we can spread that that, that, that love, that, that balls love, we're always looking for that. You know, we've seen, we've got about five people in our current sales leadership development program. And they are, you know, just proving again the, the success that, that we see from the students that we're hiring from Tennessee. You know, we see the, opp the opportunities that Tennessee gives students, whether it be, you know, getting involved, whether it be, you know, ha having opportunities to have different, different experiences experiences to classes. You know, it's a lot of stuff that's, that Tennessee offers, and we like the students that take advantage of those opportunities and, uh, and, then, and then obviously come work for us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you so much for being here today and taking some time to absolutely. chat about Gallo. Um, I always love seeing you again, even though it's virtual now. I, I, I always love working with Christy. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share before we sign off? I um, mean, you know, I just maybe you just uh, let the students know that we understand this is a new environment um, that and, and we knew and if things don't always if you know if, if the if the webcam doesn't work when you start your, your interview if if there's a you know, you know computer issue it's all going to be okay because we're all in a learning environment. So just know that, you know, in, in our, in our world, you know, uh, we've been asked to, to work in this COVID environment with flexibility, empathy, and compassion. And we understand that this is a new environment for all of us. So just take a deep breath and know that we're all going to get through this and just, you know, take advantage of uh, as many uh, events that you can attend, because even though we can't be in person to meet you, we, we definitely want to meet as many of you virtually as possible. That means a lot coming from an employer because I do know that this new using technology in the virtual everything is um, a challenge for, for a lot of people. So I appreciate it. Oh, a challenge that. for me too. So <laughs> you said the same thing back for me. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much, Christy. And I hope that if any students are interested in, in Gallo that they um, find you guys on Handshake, whether that's applying for the position or coming to career fairs and, and reaching out on at events as well. Um, so thank you so much. And we will go ahead and sign off. Go balls. <laughs> Thanks, Leslie, for having me. It was great chatting with you. Yeah, no problem. See you later. Bye. Bye.